<laughs> I was told there was a special song for this. Gotta love it. The inaugural Atlanta Edgewood Mac and Cheese Festival is this weekend. But get this, it's sold out. That doesn't mean, though, you can't whip up this comfort food staple at home. We have Cody Hansen, general manager and chef at Grand Champion Barbecue, here with their famous, award-winning, I'm told, mac and cheese recipe. So good to see you. Thanks good for to coming. See you as well. Great, great. We're excited to be here. Yeah, we're uh, excited that you're here for sure. Really quickly, though, I can't believe this is sold out. Sold out. Not great a ticket deal. left. Not a ticket left, and we're excited to be a part of it. Glad to be a part of the inaugural um, festival in. You know, Edgewood, super yeah. excited mac yeah. and cheese festival. And who doesn't love good mac and oh, cheese? Oh, it's the best. It's like it doesn't matter what age you are, a good old bowl of mac and cheese will make you feel good. And you told me this isn't just any mac and cheese, this is award winning. This is award winning. So, <laughs> what we do is, you know, we start with our water. Mm -hmm. Water is important. You need a lot of salt, salty water like the ocean. And then we incorporate our rigatoni noodle. Okay. So we use the big rigatoni noodle. So that's different than it, what a lot of people do. It definitely do. is. Mm -hmm. Instead of the small elbow mac, you got the big rigatoni noodle. The reason we use that is because it binds the cream, the cheeses, and everything better and allows it to go through there. Mm -hmm. So you come out with a much better product, much richer, creamier, that product that makes you want to take a nap at the end oh, of the day. So yes. after you bring that guy to a boil, <laughs> About four cups of mac, you know, mac noodle. Mm -hmm. um, about six to seven minutes. You want to al dente a firm noodle. Okay. Once that's completed, you're going to go into and transfer it into your bowl. Mm -hmm. Soft, tender mac al dente. At that point, we'll start incorporating our cheeses. If we you use that cheeses. That is correct. We use four different cheeses wow. here. Wow. We use a Monterey cheddar blend. And then after that, we incorporate our smoked gouda, which actually oh makes gosh, this guy special. So, good. so once that smoked gouda is in there, we go in with a little bit of Parmesan. Okay. This is actually going to be a grated Parmesan. Mm -hmm. It's a nice fine dust. And then comes the good stuff, the secret sauce. This is our heavy whipping cream. <laughs> we'll go uh -huh. in. We'll, this guy will bind everything together. How much of that are you using? Um, so I'm usually going to be about four cups of noodles. I'm going to do half of that, about two cups of heavy cream here. Okay. So once I got my heavy cream in, we go ahead and give it a nice mix, turn everything over. You want it to bind and marry. Make sure all your cheese and all your cream are incorporated together. Mm -hmm. And once that's done, just your basic pan to put it in. Okay. So it's going to be aluminum. We're going to transfer everything over. It's looking cheesy. It is. We're going to fill it to the top here. Make sure your heavy cream touches the top of your pan. Once everything's incorporated, you will need to add an additional bit of heavy cream. I was going to say, if it's supposed to touch the top, we're going to have to add a little bit. You know it. So once yeah. we go in there, we're going to add a little bit more heavy cream <laughs> just to the top of the noodles. So the good thing is this is low fat too, right? Oh, it's um, actually <laughs> negative calorie. You eat this stuff and it makes you lose weight. It doesn't count when it's no, mac it and cheese. No, it doesn't. Okay. And so we're going to go ahead and finish off the top of this guy with some more Monterey cheddar blend and then I will come back. Yes, add it on. And I'm going to dust it with the Parmesan. So what the Parmesan done and the Monterey cheddar does on top, once we bake this guy, 25 minutes at 325, okay. it's going to give it that nice brown crust. Okay. And this is what your grandmother wants you to make right oh, here. Oh, that looks good. Okay, I have a hard time getting that brown crust. So is there a secret for that? Do I need um, Really, the right temperature, the right time, and that nice Parmesan on top. So everything's Parmesan. in there that you need to make an award-winning mac and cheese. And our recipe will actually be up on the website for everyone sure. to check this out. I'm going to try this. Let's show the finished product over All here. Right. Hold that up for us so we can see so it. So what we have here is that nice golden mm. brown cheese on top. You have the cream overflowing. It's ready yeah. to be eaten. Oh, that is tilted down just oh, yeah. a little bit. Yes, I think that's going to be a breakfast, lunch for oh, me. Oh, breakfast, lunch, and Looking dinner. pretty good. Don't forget what he said about that recipe. You can find it yourself. And there's also information on the Mac and Cheese Festival or Grand Champion Barbecue on uh, under the viewer information story 